Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. Last week on the show, we talked about our soil tests and things we were trying to change on our farm. Well, one of the things that got talked about just a little bit that we had some questions on, even from non-farmers, was cation exchange capacity. And the reason why the questions came was because I made the comment that as a farmer, you never want to exceed the amount of nitrogen you're putting on, but you've got to look at your cation exchange capacity number and multiply that times 10 to give you an idea how much nitrogen your soil can hold. So these non-farmers are concerned about, hey, what if a guy doesn't know that. How much nitrogen is really going in our water? It's important <laughs> knowing that cation exchange capacity. I think it's fun. Whenever I talk to uh, non-farm groups, and I do do some speaking for those kind of groups here and there, one of the things I'll talk about is what we're doing in our soils. And I'll say it's very important. Farmers have to know their cation exchange capacity. And people are like, whoa, 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 what's that term? <laughs> you know, what's this big language? Do farmers have to be chemists? Well, to some degree, farmers do have to be chemists. So cation exchange capacity is just a measurement of the type of clay you have in your soil, the amount of clay, and the amount of organic matter. But the important thing here is to understand that that's the holding capacity of your soil. So I want to come back to what I started with that was, you know, a lot of these non-farmers get all worried because, well, what if the farmer doesn't know his cation exchange capacity? Look, farmers aren't dumb. They've been farming the ground for a long time. They know if their ground is heavy or light, and that's really what it comes back to. Cation exchange capacity is a way to actually measure it, but you know as a farmer, hey, if I have sandier ground, I know I'm going to have a lower cation exchange capacity number. I know I can't put a whole lot of nitrogen out there. We just like having the cation exchange capacity number because it gives us an exact measurement, or at least a more exact measurement. So if I don't know the field and I'm consulting with this guy halfway across the country, I can say, hey, you got a CEC of 15, just make sure you're not getting more than 150 pounds of nitrogen out there. Well, it's a pretty good guideline too, you know, just for your own farm, like Brad had mentioned, we've got CECs that really vary on our farm, anywhere from 15 to 25 covers just about all our fields. When we think about those fields that are 25s on cation exchange capacity, we know that's heavier ground. We know we can put more fertilizer out, but just to have an idea of, okay, this one's a 22, this one's a 20. Okay, if we're right at 200 bushel corn and we want about 200 pounds of nitrogen, well, on this field, we're probably gonna have to split shot it because it can only hold 180 or it can only hold 200. We better split shot it just to be safe. The other thing that farmers will do if they're worried about this, if they've got some soil textures that are a little lighter, they can use nitrogen stabilizers that holds the nitrogen in the ammonium form longer, right. which it has a positive electrical charge. Soil by its own nature has a negative electrical charge, so that positive ammonium will hold to that negative charged soil. So if you've got that nitrogen stabilizer in there, you can keep it in the positive form. If you don't have it, what Brian's talking about is farmers are worried about the nitrogen getting into the nitrate form, where it has a negative charge, and a negative will not attract to that negatively charged soil particle. That's where we can see it move with water in the soil. I guess the last thing I wanted to bring up with cation exchange capacity is just organic matter. So if a farmer wants to improve the holding capacity in his soil, he needs to raise his organic matter levels. And that can be done over time by planting a lot of high residue crops, things like corn, for example, and reducing tillage. Well, cation exchange capacity is very important to farmers, but so is good weed control. Can you identify this week's weed? 